help him. What's going on, sir? My sir? leg! Hey, what's my going leg, on? help me, please! All right, I'll help you, sir. Ah! No, that, ah! I will help you, okay? Ah! You're bleeding here. Let me do this. Oh, that will take a few seconds. Oh, it's not that bad, it's not that bad, sir. Ah! Just relax, okay? Ah! Just relax. No, no, then no! Put that tourniquet on. No! Just relax, please. Ah! Now, go faster if you relax, all right? Come on, relax, sir. Easy, easy. I will help you here. Okay? Just relax. Please relax. That'll be a lot better. It'll be a lot better for you. Okay? Are you still with me? Yeah. So, I'm going to. Alright, just relax. Alright, let's go. What happened, sir? What's your name? What's your name? I need to know if this guy is bleeding somewhere else. Stabbed me in the chest. Okay, you just have a little wound here, sir. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a bandage on this. Okay, just relax. Just relax, sir. Relax. What's your name? What's your name? Johnny. 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 All right, you'll be fine. Okay, I'm a physician assistant. I'm gonna give you a hand here. Johnny, open your mouth. What happened there? This gentleman looks like he is having a burn. Injuries on the facial burn. His airway are probably compromised with the swelling of his mucosa inside. Johnny, I'm gonna help you, alright? I'm just gonna do a little cry here. I'm gonna help you. You'll breathe better. Okay, Johnny? Stay with me. Stay with me. I'll, I'll get you, alright? Slow down, alright? Slow down. Don't move because I have a sharp object, okay? I'm just gonna perform a little hole here. Just relax, brother. Relax. Okay, Johnny, relax, breathe. You can breathe now, all right? Just uh. breathe. Breathe slowly. Slowly, you'll feel better soon, all right? Just relax, brother. Relax here, okay? Ah. It's good, I'm just inserting a little tube here that will help you breathing, okay? Can you breathe now? Squeeze my hands if you can. Squeeze my hands, that's good. How you feel? Better a little bit? Okay, no, leave that there. That's gonna help you. If you're doing something with this, we'll be in trouble again. Okay, Johnny? We'll get you out. We'll get you out of here. We'll get you home, all right? Bleeding is fine. It's not bleeding anyway anymore. You're breathing fine. No? What's going on? Okay. Because he has a gunshot wound to the left side, I'm expecting that he built some uh, tension pneumothorax on the left side. I will perform a needle decompression on this side. Johnny, I need to help you here, all right? Stay with me. I'm just gonna put a little needle here. You'll feel a little pinch. That will help you breathing, okay? Just relax, Johnny. That's gonna take a second. You'll feel a lot better, okay? Take a deep breath, just take a deep breath. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. You should be fine. Good, can you feel better? Can you breathe a little bit better? Blink your eyes twice if you can. Blink your eyes, good, good. All right, you're feeling a lot better now. You breathe, okay? Just try to see if there's other injuries on this gentleman. None. Now that I can see right now, what's going on? He's having difficulty again breathing. I'm suspecting that my needle decompression didn't work properly. I would have to insert a chest tube on this guy. For demo purposes, I'll do it on your side so you can see doing it. But I would have to put it in reality on the left side of the uh, same side of the injury, which means the right side. Johnny, I'm going to put a tube in your chest here. That's going to help you breathing, okay? Just relax. That won't hurt too much. Just a little bit. It will take a second. Leave that there. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. All right? Stay with me. Keep calm, relax, relax, take deep breath, focus, just relax, Johnny, okay? Relax, Johnny. So Johnny, like I said, you'll feel a little poke here, okay? And then after I have to insert a tube, that will help you breathing a lot better, okay? Just take a deep breath now, take a deep breath. All right, relax, just relax, okay. I'll feel better soon, okay? Just relax. You feel a little poke? That's okay, that's it, I'm done, I'm done. I just have to put the rest of the tube inside, okay? 
Just relax. I'm now inserting my chest to that'd be fine, Johnny. Let me do this, you'll feel a lot better. Okay? Cooperate with me, stay with me, alright? That won't take long. Just relax. Uh, I'm in, I'm done, I'm done, that's done. That's it, okay, that's it. You won't feel any more pain, just relax. Relax, stay with me, Johnny, okay? I'll get you home, all right? I'll get you home, you'll be fine. Just relax. Did anybody went and call 911 or something? I think I need help here, come on. While I'm waiting for the ambulance, I can still evaluate this guy. I did my primary survey on him. Stop the major bleeding, help him with the airway where I'm obstructed, open his airway, did a needle the compression for breathing purposes, and did a chest tube and reality will be on this side, same side of injuries. Now I can take more time, reevaluate my sequence. Johnny, squeeze my hands if you can breathe. Squeeze my hands. That's good. How's your leg doing? Is it really painful? Blink your eyes twice. Painful, eh? I'll give you something for pain, okay? All right, Johnny, I'll give you something for pain. Obviously, this guy will need something for pain. You know, put him down a little bit so he can calm down. He's not gonna pull on everything. In the meantime, while I'm waiting for the ambulance, I will secure his airway, secure the chest tube here, and I could, I could also pack the wound here. So Johnny, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit of packing in your wound, okay? You'll feel pressure, that should not be that painful, all right? Stay with me here, stay with me. So, bleeding, you can find the cavity, and I can just pack the wound. Johnny, stay with me, I told you, it's gonna feel pressure, not a lot of pain, all right? Just relax, stay with me, it's not worse than your tourniquet here, okay? I'll do that quickly. So you won't feel it too much. Uh, All right, almost done. I'm almost done here, okay? You have to make sure it's well packed, so this way it'll stop the bleeding properly, okay? You hear me? Squeeze my, squeeze my arm if you hear me. Good, good, you're good. <clears throat> okay, I could apply this bandages over top. And now this guy is ready to be evac. I will reassess and keep it with me and make sure he's fine until we can evacuate this guy higher echelon of care. Any questions? Thank you very much. You can come closer, have a look. One thing that is very important for this is this is repairable. Like you can perform your cut on this and fix it right away after. And if you want to stick around, I will fix the neck cut that I just did. It is with silicone based uh, material and it fixed within four hours you can reuse your, uh, your, your skin. You can do skills on both sides so you can train one guy on one side, train another guy on the other side and so on so on. And also if you want you can separate all the pieces and practice on the individually skills on individual stations. So you can practice tourniquet application, you can practice crike, you can practice needle decompression, chest tube insertion, all separately. It doesn't need to be on a human, but as you could realize, having a human in the suit make it so realistic that you can't beat this training. This guy is pushing against me, I have to communicate with the casualty, which we don't do on a mannequin. Mannequin is not the same as this guy. You carry this guy, you drop him, you're gonna hurt him for real. You hit his head, he's gonna tell you, hey, come on. You know, so that, the interaction, worth a lot. I'm a physician assistant by trade, and I can tell you this is the most realism, realistic training we can, we can bring to EMS personnel, firefighter, police, army, anybody. Thank you, come closer and have a feel, touch it. Hi, I'm Fernando.
Fernando Martins. I'm with uh, Strategic Operations Tactical Training Canada. It's a new, Cana relatively new Canadian company. Uh, the original parent company was Strategic Operations out of San Diego, and we've been doing hyper-realistic training for uh, U.S. military, Canadian military, British military, as well as first responders, paramedics, uh, police forces, etc. Uh, what we're doing here is going to be doing a demonstration of what's called the cut suit. This is the trauma version of the cut suit, or, or the tactical combat casualty care version, which allows first responders to do all the proper processes uh, as if it was real, on a real human, without ever harming them. Just put in on a flat surface.